Even though I consider Leiden the best design game I'm playing right now, there isn't a required tutorial at the beginning, which means I end up getting a lot of questions from new users. The most common of these is how to claim your first lioness. There's no clear explanation for new users that it's not supposed to be easy. Claiming a lioness may come off as an intuitive first goal, but that misrepresents the nature of the gameplay. Lioness claiming is actually a byproduct of mastering the game and progressing in the game. To further illustrate all this, I created a new account. This is totally allowed on Lion. Yeah, his name, blame it on my roots, uh, Blue Maru, not unlike Rue Island. I could never escape the cultural influence that Neopets has had on me. I've recorded every game session that I've had with Blue Maru, and I've been playing, acting as though I am a user who is just trying to claim a lioness who doesn't understand the rest of the gameplay yet, which is exactly how a new user would probably be operating. There's nothing wrong with that, that's just how it goes. When playing like this, all interactions besides claiming are gonna feel superfluous. And when you finally do get an interaction with the lioness, you're gonna fail miserably. And this is incredibly frustrating. The bad news is, this is just going to keep happening. You're gonna have mundane background tasks and then another opportunity to claim a new lioness and she's not going to want you. This is going to continue happening. That's because the things that you consider mundane and background are actually the important gameplay elements that help you level up and lionesses only want leveled up lions. There are two different forms of leveling up that are important to claiming lionesses. Those are experience and impression. Impression is undoubtedly much more important, but experience is a byproduct of gaining more impression. The higher your impression level, the more likely you are to get a lioness. And if you get a lioness, you get a boon to your impression level. When you fight, you get experience and impression. So it may sound counterintuitive, but if you're starting off on Lydon, the best way to claim a lioness later is to fight a lioness right now. Because when you win the fight, you're gonna gain experience and impression. And when you lose a fight, you're gonna learn how to fight better. As for Bloomeru, he hasn't claimed a lioness yet. I've only played four game sessions and I wanted to make this video already. I haven't played a whole lot of time, but I would probably guesstimate that it would take about four or five hours. That's because the energy has to replenish to claim a lioness. And in this time, you'll gain levels and you'll experience gameplay. I think this game is worth that amount of effort, but ultimately that's up to you. If you're also playing Flight Rising and Neopets at the same time, that five hours is just gonna fly past. I want to say thank you to Dusk for asking that question. I've explained it over message to other people before, but it wasn't until Dusk that I considered making a video out of this. I hardly ever respond to comments or messages online, and so let's go ahead and rectify that right now. From Audrey, thanks for trying out Leiden. I really appreciate it. I do agree that it's pretty overwhelming when you start, and revisiting the point from the earlier in this video, I think that has a lot to do with out there being a mandatory tutorial that users have to go through, I think that Leiden would immensely benefit. However, users who are starting over on a new account would of course find it tedious, but I think a good tutorial would help take away how overwhelming this game seems at first. I think it's very fun and it's definitely my favorite game I'm playing right now. Hey cookies and cake, apologies for being the absolute worst person on the internet and not responding to this until right now, halfway through December. Actually, Christmas is like less than a week away. Um, I give away items on the December event. For those of you who are unfamiliar, oh my God, go to light in right now and just play the game because this is actively part of it at this very moment. You get to either give away items or leave poop at other people's dens. I always give items. I don't specifically want anything or care for anything, but you know, I'm always looking for toys and food, really anything I'm grateful for. I might do an unboxing at the end of December, like a digital quote unquote unboxing of me opening all the items. Uh, so just send whatever you want. I'm absolutely flattered that you would even consider reaching out and asking me in the first place. That's incredibly kind. 
Hello, some cartoon chick. So you asked about Leiden custom decors. This is a lot like the mutation situation in which I know so little about custom decors on Leiden. I would really like to cover this though, so it's definitely in the back of my mind. I'm thinking about it on a regular basis. Don't think that I forgot about this prompt. I just have to do research. And it's probably a lot like mutations where I think I have to do a lot more research than I actually have to do. Um, so we'll just see when there is a free spot on my production calendar to get into this. I will do what I can. Thank you for the recommendation. If you're still watching at this point, we both are aware of the fact that half of this video is me commenting on comments and responding. And really that's because I can't make this channel without you guys. Your support is really important in your feedback and your recommendations for things to make videos about. So I really do appreciate it when you comment and you message me, even if it's just telling me that you like my videos, that gives me so much more inspiration to then go out and make more videos. Of course, one prime example of this is the mutant breeding video. Go ahead and check this out here if you haven't had the chance to yet. I cover what Leiden mutations are, how to breed it, and that was prompted by a watcher, so thank you so much. Another video I recommend that you watch is about my Proud Pride Legacy, which is a fun challenge that I'm going through right now. Go ahead and get caught up here. Next week, that challenge ends. Thank you very much for watching this video. Go ahead and subscribe if you liked this video and you want to see more like it. Thanks. Bye.